Hello again everyone. So in the last video I admitted to um, go through the assembly of the slider itself uh, which is a bit of an error because that's the most important part really of the build that's what makes it um, sort of work and significantly different from the original SFX100. Um, so this is a quick update video. Um, so I've taken the slider back out of the profile. It's in five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. These two end pieces, top and bottom, have smaller holes in than the middle sections. Um, so they prevent the slider coming off of the ball screw. These three components are the stack up to be the same length as the ball screw. And if we pull these off, we can see that there's a key in the keyway that prevents the slider from rotating on the ball screw. And we can just about see there, hopefully, uh, a keyway in the slider. So in order to assemble, it's, it's literally a case of sliding these three parts onto the ball screw such that the keyway lines up with the key. And then you've got the top cap and the bottom cap that clamps it all together and stops it from moving up and down on the ball screw. Um, then we've got captive M6 nuts that go into the little hexagon sockets in the bottom cap. And then the M6, M6 by 60 bolts go through the whole lot. They're pretty tight actually in these at the minute. Um, and into the nylock M6s. Like so. Yeah, so if we go around and fit all four screws. And the reason for leaving it loose is that you can use the profile as a way of ensuring that everything's lined up. And because you've got the captive nuts in the bottom, you can do them up with the slider in the profile, and holding everything perfectly aligned. Just nip them all up. Lovely sliding action. Okay, so that was just a little catch up video because I failed to explain the assembly of the slider properly. Um, so thanks for watching, please give us a thumbs up and uh, until the next time, thanks for watching.